everyone and welcome to this week's video where I'm going to be showing you the makeup that I use as someone who has acne prone skin. I'm acne prone. So I do really simple makeup. I don't really do anything very extravagant. I just have a powder, mascara, and some stuff for my eyebrows and that's pretty much it. Let's start with the powder that I use. I have been using the Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder. This is oil free and I've been using this for about a month now and I really like it. Previously I was using the Tarte Amazonian Clay, the loose powder, and I had used that for a couple of years and I was noticing that as the day went on and my face got oily, it would just look really gross. I felt like it was kind of irritating my skin a little bit so I wanted to try something new. I just got this at Sephora and I think it's around like 20... $5. I wanted to try something from Clinique because I've been using their dramatically different moisturizing gel. I've been using this for about a year now and it works really well for me so I wanted to try some of their makeup. So this powder is kind of dirty. This is in the shade Stay Tea and I just had them do the color match when I went to Sephora so that now I can just order it online. And it comes with this sponge that's sort of like the same color as the powder. It is clean, but it's just that's just the color of it. And you can see I've been using this for about sorry, <laughs> that's kind of weird. I've been using this for about a month now, and you really can barely see that I've made much of a dent in it. So it will last a while, I think. So I would say that this is pretty like medium coverage. It feels really nice and light, which I really like. The previous um, loose powders that I've used feel really heavy, and this just kind of feels like you don't have anything on your face, which is ideal when it comes to makeup. So for my skin, I have had, last year I had a big explosion of acne on my face, and I just recently am sort of on the other side of that, and it's clearing. Um, you can go to my other videos where I talk about the products I've used to clear it and um, sort of like my whole journey throughout that time. I'll have those linked at the end of the video. So now I'm just left with a lot of pigmentation, which you can see like the red stuff on my cheeks. That's the major thing that I'm left with. So I like having a light powder to just cover that up and sort of neutralize the color of my face. I'm going to put this on half of my face and then I'll show you guys like one half compared to the other so that you can kind of get an idea of the coverage. This seems to go on really well with just this little um, applicator, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, a little sponge that it comes with so that's nice too. Oh, this is going on even. So this is with and this is without the powder. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put the powder on the other half of my face and we'll move on to the rest of the makeup. I was just re-watching my footage and I feel like it looks really orange, but I don't... <laughs> I think part of it is because now that it's like winter time, I'm not tan at all, so it doesn't really look like it's matching my neck, but I think part of it is the lighting too. We're going to say it's lighting even though, you know, it's probably just that I look a little orange. I guess while I'm doing this, I'll give you a little skin update. So my skin is doing a lot better. I am doing the same routine that I showed in my second skin update video. It seems to be doing pretty good and I'm happy with where it's at. I'm happy that now when I put makeup on, it really like looks smooth and it's not bumpy anymore. And I just want to say too, like, don't listen to people if they're like, you shouldn't wear makeup because you have acne, it's just gonna make it worse. Blah blah blah. Just do what works for you. Find what feels good, as Yoga with Adrian would say. I look orange right now. Maybe this is going to just turn into a <laughs> different video because I swear I'm orange. I really hope I'm not orange. Kinda would be funny, but. I'm just going to make sure that I'm blending this out all the way and that I'm matching it with my neck because if I don't do that, then I most definitely will look orange because my neck is very pale. Okay, I feel like I look really orange. I didn't mean to put more on, I was just trying to blend it. Okay, and I kind of got carried away there. I think I put too much on. Um, am I orange? Guys, I think I'm orange. <laughs> I think I'm turning orange. Well, if I'm orange, 
orange then enjoy the rest of this tutorial as I um, just stand around being orange apparently. So now that I've done my powder, this is basically like all that I do to my actual face. I would want to try like doing like a highlighter or something, but I don't have any and this is good enough for right now. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes with this Tweezerman brand curling um, eyelash curler and it works really well. Um, I want to like do this closer up, this part closer up, one second. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I really like this curler. I got it for Christmas and it works really well. That one I just did, that one I don't. It's great. <laughs> Looks pretty great to me. Lap it down. <laughs> Look at how bent so now that my eyes- I don't know how to stand, I feel like I'm kind of like- This might look really bad. And my camera's kind of tilted. Ugh. Hopefully you guys can see me. Now I'm going to be using the Brooklyn and Bailey Lash Next Door mascara. And I also got this for Christmas and it's really good. Um, I'm just going to open it and unboxing and I've already unboxed it. I'm just like keeping the packaging. Does that weird? Probably. This is what it looks like and I really like it. The packaging is really cool. Like this is like clear, but then it's dark. And it's really like chunky. It's like those crayons are like really thick. Yeah, or like a marker. That's what it feels like. It feels like one of those Crayola markers. That's like how big it is. I love it. And this is what the brush looks like. And I know that this doesn't really like affect your skin mascara. So I don't know. I'm just showing you all the makeup I use. I'm just going to sweep this through and apparently get a big clump right there. I really like this brush because it really like grabs on to your lashes. I'm also wearing their scrunchies too, so I'm just like a merch shop right now. Yoga with Adrian in Brooklyn and Bailey. Brooklyn and Bailey. Supporting the YouTubers. <laughs> This is taking me way longer than it should. So I've done the top lashes now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the bottom lashes, which I can kind of look into my camera and do. I, for so long, was someone who did not do bottom lashes. And then now I'm like, wow, it looks so much better. Um, and another thing, I just wanna say too, that if you have acne and you know, you feel like you don't want to be looking at it anymore because you're just tired of it and you want to feel pretty. Put on some makeup, don't feel bad about it. And sometimes you have to do that. Like some days I would just have to put on all my makeup so that I would feel good and I would feel pretty. And sometimes you just gotta do that while you're figuring it out, while you're figuring out how you're gonna clear your skin. It can be really hard to wear your insecurity on your face or on your chest or your back. And I think that makeup is a great option for you to have when you just wanna cover it up. I just finished the mascara. That took me a very long time, I feel like. Now I'm just gonna... So next up is for the eyebrows and this is the Tarte Colored Clay Tinted Brow Gel. I really like this, I need to get some more of it. I really like Tarte. And I, like I said, I used their powders for a long time, but they just sort of ended up being too much for me. So this is what that looks like. So it's a really thin brush. I also have used the Boy Brow um, Eyebrow Gel from Glossier, or Glossier, I don't know how you say it. Am I really bent, guys? Ugh. But I like the smaller brush better. I kind of need to do my eyebrows. You had to pluck them. I just like to sweep this through and yeah, so I like the thinner brush I think it just sort of like gets all the hairs better, but I also do like the boy brow I feel like this one is Less pigmented, which I kind of like but I do have like this one patch in my eyebrow that like needs like some extra help I could use like a pencil or something, but you know There's only almost so much effort I can put into this so. I'm just going to sweep it through my other eyebrow as well so this is my finished makeup. I do look kind of orange, so that's great. I feel like all powders, you know what? You're gonna look a little orange. 
just seems to be how it is, but I'll get tanner this summer and then it'll be better. But anyway, so this is my finished makeup, the powder, the mascara, and the eyebrow gel. I like to keep it really simple. When you're trying new products, give yourself time to really see how they work for your skin because if you're playing around too much with tons of different products, you're not going to know which ones are irritating your skin. So just be mindful of that. I think if you take anything away from this video, it's that you kind of have to find different products that will work for you, just like skincare, which is really annoying because... Yeah, acne is just annoying. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave links to all the products that I used in the video in the description box down below so that if you guys want to check them out, you can. Again, this is not sponsored. This is just what I use and I want you guys to try it out if you're looking for something for your skin. I forgot about my Aquaphor. One second. And I also use Aquaphor just for my lips. I forgot to mention this before, but yeah, I don't even use lipstick or a lip gloss. I just use Aquaphor. I just take a little bit of this. Guys, look at this cut I got on my finger. I was making a smoothie, cutting up some celery, and I cut my finger too. So, that's what we said. But that's what the Aquaphor looks like. I'm just gonna put on my lip. lips. <clears throat> Honestly, it looks pretty good. Like, it looks pretty glossy and great. That's just what I do. So, that now is my finished look. I think what it is is that my face looks really orange and it kind of matches my arms, but it doesn't match my neck because my neck is really pale. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have acne and you want to cover it, then maybe try out some of these products. They might work for you and your skin. I have lots of other acne and skin related videos planned for the year and i'm super excited because i hope that i can help you guys out give you some encouragement with acne you're literally wearing your insecurity and that can be really tough and just hard to deal with all the time because you can't just sort of push it away it's sort of like always there it's a constant reminder of the thing that you're insecure about so i think that makeup is a great option for giving yourself a chance to just make yourself glammed up. You don't need makeup, you're beautiful with your acne. Find what works for you, what makes you feel good and confident, and do that and go with that, and don't let anyone tell you what you should or shouldn't do. They can worry about themselves. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and again, more skin videos will be coming out throughout the year. <laughs>